Hey guys, in today's video we're going to learn how to make some filler flowers. So these are quite small and little ones. So I've just got some 28 gauge wires. Um, I do prefer the wires to be in white um, just because I prefer to dust the stems rather than have the green uh, floral tape and the green wire. So you're going to divide your wire into four um, and this is just going to give us a nice bunch of smaller wires that we can attach the flowers and the buds onto. Now I've got some modelling paste and I've coloured that in just like a really pale blue and what we're going to do is we're going to bend over the tips of the wires that we've cut and this is going to create a hook. It's just going to give the uh, wire something to, the, the fondant something to hold on to when we put it in. So you're going to do this with all the wires and then we're going to start off by making some buds first. So I'll show you how to do two um, and then we'll move on to the actual flowers. So I've just taken a small piece of the blue fondant and you're going to roll that into a ball and we're just going to wet one of the wires with just a tiny little bit of water. Um, it doesn't need to be too much because obviously we don't want it slipping uh, once it's actually on there. So you're going to make it into a kind of teardrop shape first and then dip the water in the wire and then we're just going to push that in through the bottom. And then once that's secured you're going to twist the bottom and bring down the excess fondant down the wire and then we're just going to pull that off. And that's going to make that stick down. And then for the bud, what we want to do is we want to divide the top into five. So I've got my um, little knife tool, I can't remember what it's called at the minute. We're just going to mark in five lines and then, so you can see there I've just done five lines and then we're going to bring those lines down into the part of the bud. And you're going to do this quite a few times. When you're starting off the spray, we either want to start with three buds or five buds, um, always in odd numbers. And so you're going to need quite a lot of these. Once you've done, uh, once you've done one, what I would recommend is doing all of the buds first, and then moving on to the actual flowers themselves. So again, you're putting the uh, bud on and you're twisting the uh, bottom part onto the wire and then pulling off any excess and then you're just going to go mark in the five lines at the top. Be careful you're not pressing down too hard because you don't want the wire to come through the top and then we're just going to bring that down a little bit. So you should have something that looks like that and then we're just going to put that in a polystyrene dummy and we're just going to leave that to dry. Next we're going to move on to the to a flower. So again, you do these in odd numbers as well, either threes or fives. And you're going to make a similar shape as before, a teardrop, but a bit bigger. And then you're going to push the fatter end around the bottom of this tool, making sure that the join is quite thin, because obviously it's going to be a petal, we don't want it too big and bulky. And then you're going to cut in five shapes. Now this will give you some sort of triangular shape and you're just going to use your fingers to round off those edges. So you're rounding off, flattening, rounding off, flattening and you're going to work your way around the flower. So you can see that it's started to form already a really nice shape. And then you're going to take a smaller balling tool and we're just going to thin out the edges of those petals. So I'm just pulling it down and it's naturally giving it a bit of a cut shape. And then you're going to stick your wire through the centre. So in a little bit of water and you're going to anchor it in through the centre and pull it down. And again, you're going to use the twisting method to twist down the excess fondant and then pull that off. And that's just going to make sure that that's stuck nicely to the wire. So again, make your teardrop shape, pop it on the end of what this tool is. Make sure that the edges are quite thin. So you can see I'm really focusing on pushing the edges round. And then cut in your five petals. And you're going to pull them back, soften the edges and flatten, soften the edges and flatten and working your way around the petal like that. 
and then the small ball tool and you're just going to pull those petals down and then out and then dip your wire into a little bit of water and you're feeding that through the centre and then you're just twisting and twisting off the excess and pulling it down and you're going to leave these to dry so I always make these leave them to dry overnight and then we'll move on to dusting so I've just done a few here just to show you guys and I've got some colours here so I've got uh, Caribbean blue which is the darker blue the lighter blue is um, Periwinkle I can't remember what the light blue is I'll, I will put the link in it put in the description box below I've also got a little bit of pink and I've got a little bit of lavender and you're just going to brush these colours onto your petals and onto your buds um, sometimes when you're doing it if you're putting the purple on the purple can uh, come out quite light and the blues tend to cover that but what we're going to do is we're going to steam these after and it really brings out the colour of the dust and it makes the dust adhere to your petals so you're not going to wipe them off so you're just going to go and um, you know dust these up. Doesn't have to be anything too neat, but you want to make sure that you're doing the front and you're doing the back. So just brushing down the dust onto the back of the petals, and you're going to do this for all of your flowers. You could add in some more of a vibrant purple if you wanted. Um, I just struggled to find that ahead of making these flowers. So you can just see that I'm just brushing both sides. And when you've done it, I'm going to show you some flowers here. So you can see one side is dusted and the other side looks plain. So it really does benefit you to actually dust these flowers up. So now we're going to put the flowers together so I've got some half whip tape um, in white and I always cut the amount off that I need and then I'll pre-stretch it so that it's sticky anyway and you're just going to start to wrap this around one of the first buds so I start down and then I pull like sort of maybe about half a centimeter underneath the bud and then I'll pull the tape up to the top and when you're attaching the buds you want to angle your uh, wire out to the side a little bit and then you're just putting it in angling it out you can see there and then just wrapping the wire around now you do need to make sure that you're wrapping it tight because you don't want any movement of these once they're in the wire and they're wrapped up in the tape so for this one I'm just going to do three buds and then I'm going to do uh, some flowers so again the same method as before your angling your flower out to one side and then putting it in the position you want to and just twisting the flower wire around to make sure it's adhered properly so again just getting another one you can see I'm pulling it out to one side and I'm going to put that position in and then just wrap the wire around now for these particular flowers I had them coming down the side of a cake so I kind of wanted one side to be flat and have all the flowers at the other side um, of the spray just so that it the flat side could rest against the cake if you was doing something and you required sort of like a bunch that was all the way around then you would place the flowers all the way around the wire and not just at one side so you can see I'm putting the flowers quite close together and my ratio to buds and flowers is always different so it's either three buds five flowers five buds and then it might be three flowers or it might be seven flowers always working odd numbers because it's what looks best so you're going to twist the bottom of the of the tape off and then trim off the excess and then we're just going to brush up the wire with some green now i've got moss green and i'm bringing that up to the backs of the flowers as well it's just going to make it look a little bit more natural and just get in between uh, the flowers. We're just going to cover all of that tape in the dust. 
and you can change different greens the reason I like doing this one is you can change the color of the green if I wanted to go a bit lighter I wanted to go a bit darker with the tape you're kind of stuck with whatever color that tape is so now I've just colored some yellow it's quite a bright yellow and we're just going to create the centers of these flowers now I'm going to roll a tiny ball and then you need to put a hole in the top of the ball so I've just got my Dresden tool and uh, use the sharper end of that so it's just a tiny little bit of water and we're going to put these in the centers now these are going to cover the wires as well so it's just a really small blob you don't want to wet it too much because you don't want to wet the dusts that are there so you can see I'm just pushing down in the center and then you're just going to stick that on the flower now it's quite fiddly because they are quite small and this is the first time I've ever made these flowers so it is just about figuring out which is the easiest way for you to get it on and you're going to do this with all of the flowers so the larger flowers that are at the bottom so whenever I'm doing a spray I always put the smaller flowers at the top the larger flowers at the bottom and obviously you have to then be aware that the centers that you're making have to be bigger on the bottom and getting smaller towards the top as well So these are quite small bits of uh, fondant. Now I steamed these flowers. I don't have um, a steamer at home. I literally just boil the kettle and then put the flowers in and out of the steam. Um, and it just helps set the dust and it helps uh, bring out some of the other colours that are in there so that the blue doesn't dominate too much. So just a tiny little bit of pressure just to push it on and then you would leave those to dry. So you should have something that looks like this. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have please click the thumbs up button down below. Don't forget to subscribe and if you'd like to see more of my videos please click the links on the screen now. Thank you.